I am gonna be taste testing recommendations from Costco employees about what foods at Costco are their favorite, must have, go to, get your deals, get your steals, snacks. And if you have a membership to Costco, comment in the comments, they got my money. I'm curious to see how many of you are actually members of Costco. Also thumbs it up and subscribe if you're new. Every time I've taste tested food from Costco, employees always chime in on the things that I've ordered. So because they're so helpful and handy, I thought this would be a great opportunity to come and ask the experts because they must be experts what their go-to must-haves from Costco are. All right, we gotta go. There's a person walking around getting petition signatures and I just, I'm not ready to people today, even though I just came to the worst place on earth when you're not in the mood to people. Excuse me. Hi. So what are like some of the things that you love to eat here? I'm gonna unbox all my Costco goodies and do a proper taste test. You will notice that I no longer have a Christmas tree up in the background. If you've been here, you would know that I lost my mom around Christmas in 2022 and I have not had the courage to take down my Christmas tree. And a lot of you usually ask about it in the comments, but I did finally get the courage to take it down this weekend. So we will no longer have the Christmas tree, but do not fear, I was lazy enough to not put my Christmas plates away. So you'll see a Christmas plate sprinkled in in here so don't you worry about a thing so let's start with these restaurant style mashed potatoes that I would never in a million years buy on my own had the employee not recommended them this recommendation came from one of the taste tester employees who I walked by and I was like you must taste test a lot of things here what do you love she was actually sampling this flavor God everything seasoning and she's like I love serving it with these mashed potatoes and I was like these mashed potatoes she's like yeah they actually are pretty good she's like and I cook a lot of things fresh but when I need something fast and quick, I always have these on hand. I'm like, okay. The ingredients are pretty pure. Potatoes, milk, butter, cream, salt, pepper. So like she recommended, I'm gonna use the Flavor God Everything Seasoning on top of the mashed potatoes. I feel like mashed potatoes should always come with some sort of everything seasoning. Shouldn't it? it smells really good. It smells like just regular grill seasoning stuff. Let's try it. That's really good. Good. Y'all, I make delicious mashed potatoes. I don't mean to ring my own bell or toot my own horn or whatever the saying is. I hope neither of those were overtly sexual in a way that I don't understand. And I would never buy premium mashed potatoes because I can make them so well myself. But I might do, I might buy these. <laughs> Homemade mashed potato do. Obsessed. These are delicious. They're fluffy. They have a lot of texture. They're, they have little chunks of potato. They're very buttery. You don't even need butter, which is bizarre. I do think this everything seasoning actually bomb. Gosh, it tastes like something familiar. It tastes like the seasoning that they put on like seasoned fries at those restaurants that you love, like fried chicken restaurants. Tell me in the comments what place has really good seasoned fries. It has that like Cajun, oh, Bojangles. How could I forget? It has like that cajun -y type vibe. This says it's good on on fish, pizza, dips, chicken, and everything. And everything. I would give those a 10 out of 10. That pairing, that duo, should be lovers for life. One of the first employees that I ran into in Costco recommended these nutty, nudie? Nudie, come on here. Nutty, fruity, 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 oh my God. <laughs> anyway, these chewy gummy things. <laughs> They're peach rings that have this tamarind, like chili tamarind seasoning on top. I just have to tell you, this sounds absolutely terrible to me. I do not like gummy things. I was more of a Reese's Pieces kind of gal growing up. I didn't really like gummy worms. I like full fried chicken sandwich combos from Burger King. Do you know what I mean? And chili tamarind with gummy seems very weird. And it also smells weird. I mean, it smells good, but it just smells like someone made a mistake at the factory and made two things that they shouldn't, you know? She swears by these, so she must know something. Also, I think she looked at my YouTube page, so if you're watching, I'm nervous, but I trust you, I really liked you a lot. Let's be friends, okay. Ooh. So weird and so addicting. Oh, I wish I would have never tried this. This is so good. I really wanted to hate it too, because I, I really wanted to hate it, and I had this massive bag, and I was like, oh, I do not want to waste all this food. Oh, it won't be wasted, don't you worry, girl. I got it, I'll take care of it. Oh my gosh, it has just a little, just a heat, not even a spice. Like, I thought it would be spicy versus gummy, but it's really good. The peach is where it's at. It's almost like the peach gummy is the only flavor where it would work, work and make sense. If you like gummies, even if you don't like gummies, don't buy that, because it is 
like a five pound bag of gluttony, you will eat the whole freaking thing. Why do I do these videos? They make me addicted to these things. This is fantastic. I, I don't even like gummies. I think one of the things I was running into with the employees is they would just like look around them and point in directions of things that were popular. One of which was the real Coke in a bottle, which are my favorite Cokes. You guys know I love Coke. So when they were like, these are really popular. I'm like, yeah, I'll take those. I feel like I secretly wanted to be Cindy Crawford and do like a Coke campaign. I actually was going to actually had a moment where I was gonna work with a brand that was really popular that I love that was a drink. But in the exclusivity, they told me I couldn't drink any liquids for like a year on camera, <laughs> including water. I was like, are you guys okay? Do you have a fever? <laughs> but I will seize every moment I can to drink a Coke, have my Cindy Crawford moment with you guys, unpaid. Gosh, I love Coke in a bottle. And they're really expensive, but Costco has a pretty good deal. I don't know why, but that tastes like home to me. And it's kind of sacrilegious. I'm from North Carolina and there are big Pepsi people down there. Coke, call me. Let's work together. I'm happy to drink Coke in every video for the rest of my life. And especially if it's Coke in a bottle. So another Costco find that I was pretty surprised it even existed is this creamy tomato basil soup that was organic that came in the box. One of the sample ladies pointed to this. And I love tomato soup. I'm a huge fan. And I started reading this and I realized that everything really is organic in here. One of the sexiest things you can do is tell me something is organic. Like nothing makes me hotter and more excited than knowing something is organic, truly. <laughs> the only drawback of this is when I took it out of the box, the soup comes in a bag. And there's just something about the plastic of a bag of a hot liquid that I feel like was poured into the bag when it was hot and the plastic. And I'm a little concerned, just a little, but hey, we can't have it all in life, you know? We can't have organic and no PFAS. There are a few tomato chunks in there, which is kind of nice. It's very hot. I don't think that's proper etiquette, but subscribe if you're like me and a rebel and you don't really care about etiquette. <laughs> Ooh, that is heavy on the deliciousness. It's not creamy, like dairy creamy, which I kind of usually like. It's almost fluffy and sweet, and it doesn't have like that tomato bite that sometimes tomato soup can have. It does taste like a fresh, sweet summer soup. Gosh, that's really good. Mm. Matt just got home. I think he's gonna be happy to know that I have lunch waiting for him. Yeah, it could use a little pepper. It's like almost like just a little too sweet. It needs like a little spice, a little heat, a little kick. Honey, you're always just in time for a taste test. Do you feel it? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll take that. <laughs> it's always so serendipitous. You wanna try this hot tomato soup? Hot tomato, hot tomato. Do you wash the wiggles? Just me? It's organic. It came in a bag, but I'm not gonna show you that because it makes it way not appealing. I'm just impressed that this has remained pristine, this outfit. I know, I already have a stain, a coffee stain. Well, no tomato though. Not yet. There's still a couple sips to go. Your haircut looks good. Doesn't it kind of taste like corner bakery soup? Yeah, it does. It's like it's sweet. There's like some sweetening in there. Mm -hmm. It could use like a pepper. Or some cheesy bread. Well, everything <laughs> could use cheesy bread, <laughs> let's be honest. Cheesy bread. Next is this grass-fed beef sirloin that comes basically pre-cooked, pre-seasoned, and ready to go. So this comes in one package with all, with all of the juices that you just empty into a pan, cut up into like fine sh little pieces, and heat it up and it's ready to go. It only took me like three minutes maybe to cook it. The smells are smelling. It looks delicious. Actually, it doesn't read super great on camera, but in person it looks really good. And there's a lot of meat there. My you have to share. <laughs> What's in it for me? <laughs> Lifelong partnership. Oh, wow. Lifelong companion. <laughs> Lifelong person to eat my food. Let's try it. It's good. I'm gonna get this fork in there. I might have overcooked it just a, t a tinge. It's really good. The seasoning's really good. I feel like it would be really good on like a sandwich. Almost like a Philly cheesesteak with melted cheese on top and a crispy bun. It's pretty good, right? Matt's a man of few words. It's good. I got a little bit more fat in my bites. Oh, okay. See, I had like a very curated lean and mean flavor machine. It's got a lot of flavor. It's peppery. I'd give it like an eight and a half out of 10. I'd probably give it eight. All right, I'm moving into the rib. Uh, I don't like meat on the bone, and ribs are essentially like That's the quint quintessential meat on the bone. It was not cheap, it was like 20 bucks. It might haunt my dreams. <laughs> Is that appealing? If it came apart easily. It did. It's very fatty. It looks fattier. You might try buying on this side. All right, let's try it. That's good. It needs some sauce, you know what I mean? It's a little dry, but there's good base notes. 
It's better with the fat. It's dry. Oh, yeah. Fat makes it juicy, but I don't like that texture. That's good. I like that. Do you like that better than the beef sirloin in the pan? I'd say that's, that's a nine for me. Oh, wow. So, I'm not a rib girly, so I'm glad you're here to give them the true rib experience, the I would, rib. I would get this and the Salt Lake barbecue sauce original Whole Foods. I'll link it down below if you're interested. Let's move into the desserts. I mean, that's really the category where I shine the brightest. I don't even, I'm not even really good at making desserts. I'm just really good at eating them. The giantest two bite brownie container you've ever seen was recommended. And I don't blame her, I love two bite brownies. Fun fact, I just threw away a case of them today because we finished it last night. It gives you that sugar fix, but you don't feel like you need to sit and eat the whole container. If I had a whole pan of brownies, I would eat the whole pan in one sitting because it's one brownie at that point, you know? I'm gonna have a brownie. But if you have it in a bite, you're like, this is what I'm eating for dessert. Maybe two, two or three of them, but still. <laughs> anyway, let's try Costco's two by brownie. In my professional dessert opinion, it's good. It's not special. Like it's just like every other two bite brownie, which are wonderful. Every two bite brownie in the world deserves praise and accolades, but it's not special. You know what I mean? It's just only special because you can buy 7,000 of them in one container and that is special. <laughs> the flavor is just exactly what you would expect. Next are the almond Florentine with chocolate drizzles. Almonds make it healthy, right? The presentation is nice. It's something like that I've never really seen before. I feel like it looks unique and special. It's got just the right amount of drizzle. You can have too much drizzle, you know. Let's try it. It tastes like coconut. I think it's good. It's good. It's just different. It feels like it should be crunchier. It's more like a granola, like a soft granola bar texture. And the flavor is very heavy on the almond. It's very unique. I will give it that. It's something that I probably wouldn't buy again. I just feel like the almond flavor is really strong. Just try a little nibble. The almond flavor is strong? I actually like those. Oh, you like that? Matt likes it. What would you give it? Yeah, I'd give it like a seven. I don't think I'd crave it though. I think it's one of those things that you'd eat it when it's in the house, but it's not like, go make sure you get those but from it, Costco. I like that it feels a little bit lighter. I feel like everybody loves these danishes that they have at Costco because they have them also up at the front counter where you check out, not just in the bakery section. Like that's how you know they're serious about selling these to people and they always, the employees always recommend them. I did get the cream cheese danish, but if you buy one, you get the other one for free. So then I got the almond feel Danish. The cream cheese one was recommended to me. I've already tried all of Costco's bakery items. You will have to check out that video. I will link it somewhere here. But I'm never gonna say no to the cream cheese Danish. Although it wasn't my favorite Danish that they have, so you have to watch the video to see. But because they recommended it, I must try it for posterity. Wow, this is a lot. It's so good though. But it's just so big. It's like almost a cheesecake potency. It's very, very good. It feels like a delicacy homemade French bakery. You have to pace yourself because you just get, I get lightheaded because there's so much sugar involved. They're worse things. These were just a few recommendations that I got from Costco. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know if you have Costco must have, must grab recommendations. Let me know in the comments. Also, give me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you are new. And don't forget, if you comment, it really does help. So let me know what your favorite thing from Costco is down below.